In the Three Hussars restaurant in Vienna, the service is elegant. But even if you like things to be simpler, it's necessary to comply with the most important rules. Don't start eating until everyone has been served and the host or hostess begins to eat. Don't chew with your mouth open and don't talk with your mouth full. Both are unappetizing for other people. Knowing table manners will later be a social and professional calling card for the children. <laughs> Things are particularly elegant when Valentine passes the butter to his sister. He's learned manners from his mother. When others need help, they can't do it alone, so you have to help them. Even if everything is not altogether perfect yet, the children have already learned a great deal. Having good manners, combing your hair and washing your hands before sitting down to table, not putting your elbows on the table, not shouting, not arguing, no feet on the table, not running around and not eating noisily. You can enjoy your food and have a pleasant chat at the same time if you feel comfortable. Manners may be a betrayal of one's feelings when the way a person acts contradicts what they really feel. For example, I often see children being forced by adults to kiss their grandma when she comes to visit. But they don't want to give her a kiss. Then you realize that the child has to show manners even though there is no feeling of warmth for this stranger. So manners can very easily become pressure or almost a kind of terrorism when they're contrary to what the children really feel.